<laughs> Miss Pudding, the door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh, uh, uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm. Me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Password, please. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the docks. What? Oh, Strawberry! It's you! You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask, who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair! If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call <laughs> Mr. Longface Sir Highness Longface before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. Everyone. But I must admit, I'm not sure what a Berry Fest princess does. You've got to judge the flower show. Oh, Don't forget the honey day. Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. You like the girl? Yeah, it'll be great. Uh -huh. ooh, ooh. And twirl the Berry Fest princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the Berry Fest princess baton? I'd better practice. Twirl the buffet. Right, the buffet. Sample the cobbler. Cobbler? And ask the blitz. Uh, 
Sparkles! Get all the wings! Get it! Oh, oh, the oh, oh, Before, oh, after, oh, 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 I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's Bitty Book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. Uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. I'm sorry, Strawberry. It's just too warm. The snowmaking machine can't keep its cool. Thanks for trying, Berrykin Bruce. Aw. Well, that's it. Fun while it lasted. Just when we worked out the teams. <sighs> Guess we'll have to wait till next winter. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Hold on, everybody. Gather round. What if we made our snowman out of something other than snow? Oh, anybody have any ideas of what we can use to build a snowman that's white and fluffy? You mean besides mashed potatoes? <laughs> mashed potatoes! <laughs> that's it! <laughs> hey, I was joking! I'm not! <laughs> it could work! Come on, everybody! Like winter. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put away my winter fashions. Do you think it's too cold and windy to play? <laughs> yes, and it'll be getting dark soon. Let's come back in the morning. Meanwhile, hot chocolate for everyone at the cafe. <laughs> might be baking colossal cupcakes, but I'm sure Barrick and Bloom will be more than happy with this one. Won't he? Oh, maybe orange is right, Pupcake. Barrick and Bloom is special, so he deserves a really special cupcake. But how can I make a more special cupcake without getting carried away? Oh. <laughs> you may not have all the answers, but you sure are cute. <laughs> hey! That's it! I'll make a Pupcake Cupcake. <laughs> It'll be the cutest cupcake you've ever seen. Stay right there. Okay, now stay still. Oh, you're right, Pupcake. It's not what I had hoped for. But you didn't really help by moving around so much. <laughs> oh, now what am I gonna do? Of course! Oh, Custard, please come back. It'll be fun! There! Now that's the perfect cupcake. Just one last touch. Whoa! What do you think? I had to 
change my recipe to make it this big. But isn't it the most special cupcake you've ever seen? All it needs is this cherry and... <laughs> Delicious and bigger and stronger all at once. <gasps> hey, you guys are good with tools. Maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never baked anything before with plaster. <clears throat> I got four words for you: frosting licking. Can me you? <laughs> So, that activity is what you would refer to as zip lining? Wasn't it fun? Uh, well, I... Uh... It's just one of the many activities in the, uh, gentlemen's diversion club. Yeah. Goodness, Mr. Huckleberry. This club seems quite rough and tumble. Only the roughest and tumblest for gentlemen like us. Uh, now, when was this club established? It's after me! It's very old and established. We better keep diverting. I know another diversion, which I know you'll enjoy. To the lake! Yeah! <laughs> the lake. What a wonderful suggestion. I can't think of a more tranquil spot to sit back and marvel at the glory of nature all around us. Yet still, I can't help but wonder why my feet are strapped to these boards. I knew he'd love water skiing. Looking good, Barry Can Bloom. Well, you were anyway. Okay, another diversion. Think. I know. Are you certain that this is enjoyable? As enjoyable as anything else I could all of a sudden think of? Have fun! <laughs> Crumbs. The Royal Highnesses, Your Majesties. Mommy, it's not fair. It's all her fault. She told me to go around the toll booth. It was my barricade in waiting. She wouldn't do what I told her. I want a do-over. Yes, we demand a do-over. Now, daughters, calm down. Have either of you the Royal Goldenberry? Done, Strawberita. Ever so clever of you, darling. Aw! In each of your challenges, you showed kindness, generosity, and resourcefulness. All virtues becoming to a ruler of a kingdom. She cheated! She didn't show any of those... those... things! Yeah! Things! Whatever! She cheated! We know! We were there! As was I. <gasps> The troll who takes the toll was kind enough to give us a report of your behavior. Lemonella, Rasbolina, I am ashamed by your lack of manners. He wasn't even there when we had to cross the lake. Oh, but I was. <gasps> Toss me overboard and sink me. It's pure bilge they speak. These two swabs were very rude. Well, Princess Strawberry 
Lolita was a sweet lass who shared her lunch with a sea dog. I'd scupper those two scallywags and promote this lass to captain. I... Uh, excuse me, Your Majesties, but I cannot take credit for the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> you see, there was someone who guided me all along the way and gave me good advice. And that was... the littlest barricade. <sighs> this Royal Goldenberry should belong to you. <gasps> Goldenberry Fairy, and I know everything about you, Princess Strawberryta. You are not only kind, giving, and clever, and humble. Did I mention honest? Well, honest, too. By giving credit where credit is due, you have passed the final test and proved that it is <gasps> you who are worthy to rule the kingdom. <laughs> Aw, we have been bears. royally spoiled! Well, darling, it's off to the islands. Oh, oh, I, oh I can help you with oh, 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 No problem at all. Well, okay. My beloved royal subjects, my first royal decree is to promote the littlest barricade to royal counselor. Hooray! And so, the littlest barricade proved that it doesn't matter how little you are, you can still do very big things. And so... Under the kind, generous, wise, and humble rule of Queen Strawberryta, the kingdom flourished and everybody lived... Very happily ever after! Well, not quite everybody. You told me we'd reach a stellar kingdom run by a knockout prince by nightfall, and it's getting dark now! I said no such thing! That was your idea! It wasn't! I'm hungry! It was! This is your fault and your fault only! Very charming. I can't begin to tell you how delightfully happy I am to finally meet you at this royal. Cut the music! Uh huh? It's okay. It's all right. I'm kind of thinking that eek isn't what Bariella would feel for the prince at this moment. No, it's what I was feeling for my feet. I was stepping on them. Huh? See, I, uh, don't, uh, I don't know how to dance. Oh, well, no problem. Hmm. Our choreographer will have you waltzing in no time. Who's that? Me. Music! <laughs> That's good. You're eek. Getting it just yeah. Maybe not so eek. If you could just yeah. cut the music! I see what you mean. Another idea! Well, he's getting better, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I've had worse students. Not many, but some. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll learn it. I'll learn it. Beautiful girls. Oh, that was all orange. She has some amazing decorations at her store. Well, for all of your help, you girls will be the first ones introduced to the drivers when they arrive. Okay, I don't understand this one either. Why do we have to be introduced to the Berrykin drivers? Yeah, everybody knows everybody in Berry Bitty City. Acting extra polite can make an event feel special. It's just another tradition. Oh, Strawberry! Oh, hi, Baby 
Berrykin. What's a tradition? Well, a tradition is something that keeps being done the way it was in the past. Ooh! Why? Traditions are a way to remember the past and to celebrate it. Ooh! <laughs> I like celebrations! <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Speaking of traditions, oh, I hope I can remember all the ones in this ceremony. Yeah, that's why I read the whole derby book three times last night. Uh -huh. Okay, bowing, handshake, flowers, headstand. No, not headstand. Where did that come from? Look, here they come! <laughs> Why does every car have three bows on it? Oh, I know, I know. Because the very first race included only three racers, so we remember them with the three bows. Umbrellas, time for the umbrellas. Okay, now this tradition really makes no sense. Why would we open up umbrellas just because... Someone is driving. Because it's a tradition. <laughs> Very helpful. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, to this year's Very Bitty Buggy Derby. <laughs> <laughs> You're all going to have a wonderful time. So please, help me welcome the official Very Bitty Buggy Derby driver. <laughs> Present our esteemed Derby drivers. <sighs> oh no, they've forgotten how to do the introduction. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. Phew. Done. I bet she forgot. And with this traditional ceremonial derby scepter, I hereby declare that the derby has begun. <laughs> what a wonderful ceremony! Just like the old days. Thanks to you, Blueberry. I think you've shown the princess very good manners by so closely following the traditions of her favorite event. Thanks. I do feel I've made it up to the princess for my bad manners earlier. At least a little. <laughs> I bet I can do even better.